Um, I think the only thing I, I, I would say, you know, I would have a problem with, like, because I get it. Like, you know, point and shoot, put down the, you know, I hate sharp content and the, you know, let's bash, bash sharp segments. But I get it. People got to pick it up. Shit, it's a bag in it. Shit, I'm even like, damn, should I bash myself and play it out? Shit, it's going to make some money, right? I mean, but long story short, if there's anything that I can, I would critique about it. And some of the content is like, you know, the false narratives. Like, uh, you, you, first and foremost, you niggas be the, that make this shit be square as fuck. Square as fuck. You don't know nothing, but I'd rather it be a nigga from the game that come for me, homie. Like, that, that'd make more sense. It, it makes it more, it, it makes it more arguable. You know what I'm saying? Like, more of a debate, right? Or whatever, you know? Most people don't be trying to meet up and do anything physical, so I, I understand that it is online content. But half the people that make this content don't even be nothing even a part of anything that even comes from where the fuck I come from. So it just be kind of baffling to me that, you know, people will put all this shit together and put it out into the world and you know, anybody I feel like that believe the shit or, you know, want to stand with the shit, shit, that's how you always felt. Don't act like you fucked with me before and then now you just got a problem. Nah, nigga, you never fucked with me. You were just trying to stand around to see if I was going to have a downfall. But not today, bitch. Not today. I'm just saying. Let's see what's going on. I, de I definitely want to watch this. I definitely want to see what's this, what this is about. Let's see. It says uh, sharp and no jumper beef explained. Let's see. You know, most people, man, you know, sell drugs and did a lot of gang banging. I always wanted to be the, the, the money getting guys. The sharp tank. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest, podcast in the world and today man we got what little kelpie, kelpie? Yeah, little, little kelpie. Kelpie, kelpie you know we gonna kelpie. get on all that hey church do me a favor and take that jacket off i don't look for yeah. nobody i don't look for anybody broken yeah or need fixing no man that's not the life man these little tired ass little niggas running around up, playing in the game sitting up over there licking tt -t bones and want bitches to pee on them my, don't bring up the bitches to pee you get drunk you get drunk and want the bitches to pee on you my nigga is suspect <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like just this even starting off. Hey, look, it was the it was the way he responded back to me when I said it to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is <laughs> You cannot make this shit up. Like this shit is going down in the motherfucking record books. I am not gonna lie to you. This shit right here is beautiful. Let's see. Money do some nasty shit, bitch, play with my money. money. What's this right here? This bullshit ass 48 laws of 48 what? Laws you shouldn't even have wrote bad, 48 bitch. words in that stupid ass shit. You know, I gotta say this. That book, you notice she never handed it to me. When she showed me that it was nothing in it is what was killer to me because she read out of it like, oh, yeah, this part right here, I wrote about you. I said, oh, yeah, well, go ahead, read it to us. This bitch made up a whole conundrum. And then after the fact, I'm really believing this stupid ass shit. And then when the cameras go off and she opened up the book and there's nothing in the book, man. There's nothing in the book, church. This shit threw me for a loop. Keep talking, talking about, to me like I'm what talking about? What's what up you going to do, sir? Like, we on a whole podcast. I'm confused, though. So, what you want to do? Now, I'm going to say this. I had a lot of people hit me up about that one that knew where she was from. And they say, man, all them little scrubs get down like that. You know, they make you want to do shit like that. I just told baby, come on, come and remove yourself. If you're going to be doing what a nigga do, I don't think niggas going to be doing too much yelling like that. And they're going to want to get off camera or they're going to want to do something to the person that's in front of them. 
Obviously, she jumped back to saying that this is just a podcast. And, yeah, it was a podcast. But, baby, don't play games with the wrong niggas on me because there's always somebody else that's going to have a little bit more fury than you do. Thirsty. Trump could never say I'm thirsty. You can never. Go. And don't have me going to proving how unthirsty I am. Because I have proof how not thirsty I am. She was screenshot. I have. I, I love how to, you out of all the situations, now you're. <laughs> Woo. Quiet, right? You, you could have just. You could have just. <laughs> said I'm, not thirsty. I'm not thirsty. I'm not thirsty. We actually got smart. There's actually so, people out there. If we really look at that whole situation, right? I don't know how I got drug into it. And. You know, if we ever got a recap on it face to face or whatever in the future, I'm going to say it just like I'm saying it now. Like, it seemed like, you know, a certain somebody was getting kind of beat up in the conversation. They were looking for me to say something for them. And when I didn't speak up for them, they seemed like they was a little bit bitter, or a little bit tight. Shit, bitch, that ain't my motherfucking job to speak up for you. You wasn't my bitch to speak up for. You feel me? Straight up. I, I'll keep it simple and sweet, man. That actually understand. I don't even I hate that bitch. It's nothing. Or just searching for love that we ain't never Honestly. had before. And I don't think it's anything to do with your mother or your father. That's a different kind of love, man. You know, that's sick. That's twisted. I'm not thirsty. You're making yourself look like a fucking class. Not at all. That's the fuck not you are. All. Not, and you not keep trying to drag me, hey, Sweetie, you were sending me flowers. Yeah, you was my that's, that's, that's not the name of the game, man. You know? That's how I felt about it, and I still feel about it like that to this day. Like, some people don't have to say nothing, but then they choose to say something, and they make themselves look like a fucking goof troop, like a fucking buffoon. They expect everybody else to come dive in to where everybody's going to die down there. Why are we doing that? I'm just, I wasn't comfortable with trying to, that's why I shut up. That's why I'm sitting there. I'm like, okay, this is a argument. Y'all argued. This went from being thirsty to, oh, well, Sharp, you ain't going to say nothing for me. Say something for you for what? Say something for you for what? Bitch, I got nothing to say for you. You're saying it all for yourself. Why the fuck did I need to say anything? All I need to do is just sit back, either be quiet or laugh. We all looking for something that we ain't never had before. That's all that is, man. Something we never had. Show. Something I've never had, shit. Something that you probably still searching for. We're just trying to beat everybody he to it, man. 33 That's minutes it. of this shit. Damn, there's 33 minutes of clipped up content. And I've never been one to quit or to follow anybody. Whenever No Jumper had their big fallout, Sharp had a huge decision to make because back on Fig, Community, you know, AD, T Rail, Duno, all them boys, that was Sharp's boys. Like he fucked with them heavy, but he had to make a choice. Was he gonna partner up with the Community World and build up this new platform? Or was he gonna stay with the guy who gave him his first shot at on Grand Maison? So I'm, I'm great and happy with announcing that I'm staying with No Jumper. Yeah, it's my bag make a hell of a bag, I do great things in that building, make magic. Why stop it? Why stop that? There's no contract for me, there's no nothing. I just understand business at hand. And I love bringing y'all content from there. Even if we do other things, which we will, but I love bringing content to y'all from there. So Sharp clearly made his decision from the get go. He was staying with No Jumper. But I want you to cue in on these key words that he mentioned in this little rant. Make a hell of a bag, make a hell of a bag, make a hell of a bag. Yeah. In his own words, he was making a hell of a bag from No Jumper, which obviously was probably a key reason of why he never went with the community world and stayed where he was, because he was getting to the bag. But things slowly started to decline for No Jumper. Well, probably not slowly. It probably happened pretty fast, like fast as fuck. Because literally months after he made this rant, he was complaining to Yuri about how he just got his lowest check ever from No Jumper. Check it out. That same amount of money was because I've done that same amount of numbers. Right. Yeah. The numbers were fucking catastrophic. They were insane. No, you facts. Still are. I just touched like the first fucking 84, like the lowest in a month. Mind you, when I'm saying that, I'm not living in L.A. 
I'm there one, maybe two days out of the month. One to two days. I'm not there three days a week. I'm not there four days a week. I'm not there fucking one day a week. I'm there two times a month at this point. And this is when everything started to take its turn because you know all the situations that it took place, whatever. We already all know that part. But even to have that be the lowest, that was some nigga's highest. You can't fuck with me, dog. You just can't. 